Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, something called the Ubiquity Dream Machine. But just before I have a look at that, I just want to maybe cover what I think are maybe the four uh, main pillars uh, that you need to build your basic network uh, at home um, or in small business as a starting um, point. Generally this would be whether it be with Ubiquity equipment or with another vendor. You're always going to have a, a, a router. Um, maybe you're going to have um, that router is maybe going to have some very basic firewalling capabilities in it. So that's your starting point. Your router is generally then going to be connected to a switch. Um, the switch is going to allow you to connect all your, your devices together. Um, and then you're probably going to have a wireless access point or a number of wireless access points. Remember, wireless is about density and not distance. It's not about how far away you can get a device from an access point. The more div access points you have, um, gives you more coverage, which gives you better quality for the devices connecting to it. Um, and then depending on which um, vendor you're using, um, you probably maybe need some basic configuration tool or management tool for that, that whole thing. So in the Ubiquity side of things, um, our basic gateway um, router um, is called the USG, as I've mentioned before. Um, you would then maybe have um, the cloud key. This is the cloud key Gen 2. Um, as the Wi-Fi controller, this allows it to adopt and manage the gateway device. It allows it to manage the wireless um, and the switches. Um, you'd have maybe a number of access points. Um, this one here um, is uh, the Ubiquiti Nano HD. Um, and then you would probably have a switch to connect those all together. So this is an example here. Um, this is the Ubiquiti um, US8150. So this is the 150 watt eight port. Um, switch which can power these directly um, and your cloud key here would um, plug in there directly as well um, and then this would be plugged into maybe your ISP's current router um, or uh, maybe the Ubiquiti um, USG. So you obviously do have a couple of things you do need to cover. If you've got um, a copper um, broadband provision of some type, so it's NBN but it's um, to the node not to your property, then you still will need a modem to bridge um, from that VDSL connection into your network, maybe a Draytech uh, DV130 would be a good example. And then that can be plugged into um, your Unify, um, your Ubiquiti um, security gateway or something like that. So along has now come the Ubiquiti Dream Team, um, Dream, not Dream Team, but the Ubiquiti Dream Machine. So this device, um, I wasn't quite sure originally when this came out, what purpose this had. Um, this has probably only been here in Australia at the time I made this for probably about a week. Um, so it is a new device. And each time I talk to customers now, I have more and more of a realization of why this fits in the network. So the Unify Dream Machine, um, this model, there's going to be a Pro, which is a rack mount version. But this is essentially a wireless access point similar to the Nano HD. So it's a four by four. Um, it is the Unified Gateway Security Appliance. So again, bridged with a, a, a router, like I said, like a Draytech DV130 um, to your um, broadband connection, or if you've got fiber directly into your property, this could be plugged directly um, into it. You've got some level of security. Um, it has um, a four port switch built into it, um, and it also has the cloud key built into it, which means you don't need to install any software on your network anymore. This will manage the whole thing for you. So let's just have a look at what's inside the box. It is slightly precariously set, so just bear with me while I take this off. All right, so this is the device itself. I'm just gonna put that to the side, just show you what you get in the base. It's not exactly really exciting, um, but in the base here, um, you will get the mains power lead um, and you will get a uh, very simple uh, get started uh, guide. You can configure this directly from a mobile or smartphone device um, and you can configure it um, with a web browser. Like I said, this is the cloud key bay built into it. So here is the uh, back of the device. There's not much really to show you. Um, I think probably from my point of view, this would have been fantastic if this was a PoE switch because then we could have powered some other access points directly. But this is gonna really become your hub of your internal Unify network. So when we looked at all those things at the beginning of this video, we looked at the need for a switch, the need for a router slash um, security appliance of 
some type of thing. Um, we looked at a controller um, for all of it and an access point. This is everything in a box. So this is a four by four access point. You've got your uh, four network ports on the back. You've got your WAN connection here. So you could do a PPPoE session directly from um, this device. Then in Bill, like I said, you've got the cloud key. The cloud key is your controller. It's the bit that controls all of the Unify products. So it doesn't matter. You start with this and then you plug in a whole bunch of other access points. They will all be controlled um, by this. And then obviously built into this, like I said, is you've got the um, security appliance. So those four pieces in one box makes this a very effective, simple way. And for many homes, this, this unit on its own, um, if you're maybe a 100, 100 square meters, something like that, maybe 180 square meters, this may well, depending on the condition of your walls or how your walls are made, this may do all of your house for you. If not, it'll be this and one other access point like an AC Pro, AC Long Range, plug directly into this and you have everything that you need to manage a secure network, have a wireless network, monitor it, um, and obviously have a few extra switch ports as well. So hopefully that's been useful. It's not meant to be a real technical overview. It's meant to show you what's in there. Um, you've just obviously, like I said, we've got the normal power in here. Um, we've got a WAN port. We have uh, four network ports, wireless access point, cloud key generation two equivalent um, in here, um, and the uh, Ubiquiti security gateway all built into one appliance. So that hopefully has been useful. That's the Ubiquiti Unified Dream Machine.